Hello, I'm Nicholas Yates. This screencast video is one within a series of how to use Adobe Connect. Please see my YouTube playlist for more videos on using Adobe Connect in online learning. Thanks. Today I'm going to show you how I would have set up an Adobe Connect online classroom and some things that you may wish to do yourself. The first thing that I may do is to enable the microphone rights for all participants. This ensures that they have a microphone when they enter the room. To do this, click on the audio menu and then select microphone rights for participants. This microphone button here would then pop up for students to see. You may wish to do that at the beginning or uh, just before you're ready to start. If you have any students connecting through their mobile phone or iPad, any device, then you can get the meeting uh, link uh, and send it to them directly via email. So click on meeting, manage access and entry, invite participants. From here, you can just simply copy and paste the link and send it to the specific students. Or by clicking on compose email, it opens your default mail program and you can send them an email. The next thing I might do is to upload any PowerPoint, so I'll do that quickly now. If it's not already there, then I can upload to the screen. For me and my computer, uh, a Mac with a specific version, it asks me to do a few extra steps. You may or may not see this, depends on your computer and depends on what software you're using. Some Macs do this, some Macs don't. Regardless, you may wish to upload your PowerPoint and so that students can see it when entering. The next thing you might do is test your audio. To do this, you would go up to Meeting again and click on Audio Setup Wizard. The Audio Setup Wizard guides you through a process to record a message to test your microphone and then it plays it back to you to test your speakers and the volume. Depending on the access that you uh, set up the room with, some uh, rooms may let students come in automatically as you gave access to them. Uh, some may ask for your approval. Uh, down here in the bottom of the screen, there will be little notifications and also at the top, uh, it'll ask you to approve students who come in as guests. So please monitor for this. One thing you may wish to do before you start the session is to record the session. Click on meeting and then click record. You can give it a specific name and then click OK. A little notification has popped up for the teacher and students. Also the red dot means that you're recording. To finish recording, click the red dot and click stop recording. Please see my other YouTube video on recording a session as to uh, where those sessions get saved. If there's any problems with the student's audio, please ask them to uh, click on meeting and conduct the audio setup wizard. Also plugging headphones in can sometimes improve the quality of their sound and voice. Thanks for viewing this video. Please leave a comment or email me for any follow-up questions. Depending on your browser or future updates, the layout of Adobe Connect may be slightly different, yet I hope the functions remain the same. Please see my YouTube playlist for other Adobe Connect screencast videos. Have a great day!
Finally, here are some connection tips that you may wish to tell your students and for you as well. Connect in a strong Wi-Fi area. Um, that's an obvious one, but when possible, use a LAN cable. Uh, this would help your connection. Uh, some students uh, or others on the same network in their homes um, may be downloading or streaming video, streaming games. This all connect, connects to the same bandwidth and eats up the connection speed. So ask them to stop. Uh, Chrome and Firefox are the preferred browsers. I've tried to tell all students this uh, many times. Chrome and Firefox are the preferred browsers and there are known issues with Safari and Internet Explorer so ask students and yourself to use Chrome and Firefox as whenever possible. If there's, there's problems, restart the computer. Sometimes that can help. If there's connection issues, um, turn off and then turn it back on your Wi-Fi and modem. Hopefully these will be good tips to get you connected, you and your students connected. Hopefully these tips will help you and your students to have a reliable uh, connection to your online classroom.